Hi, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete, and I have your word for the day. My wife and I have had the blessing of picking names for our three children. This has been a fun process, but was complicated by one thing. Collectively, my wife and I have nearly 50 years of working with children. So names tend to conjure up memories. When one of us would suggest a name, the other would say, oh no, we can't use that name. I had a kid in my class with that name. And then a story of the annoying or naughty thing that that child did would follow. Finally, with our youngest, we were out of names. We'd already dug through the baby name books for two other kids. And for our third, we had hit rock bottom. So the day that my wife went into labor, we still did not have a name. We decided we would just wait and see the name that seemed to fit once we met our baby boy. When we finally held our newborn in our arms, we thought Andrew was a good name. We didn't have any negative experiences with any Andrews, but before bestowing the name on our youngest, we looked up the name in the Bible. Andrew in the Bible was also a good name. Andrew was Simon Peter's brother, and he was constantly bringing people to Jesus. He brings his brother to Jesus. He brings the boy with five loaves and two fishes to Jesus. Andrew has a good name. And this reminds me of today's proverb from chapter 22, verse 1. It says that a good name is to be chosen rather than great riches, and favor is better than silver or gold. There are a lot of things that you can chase after in life. You can chase after money, fame, pleasure, power, and the list could go on and on. But God's word reminds us that the best choice is to chase after a good reputation. When your name is mentioned, does it bring good things to mind? Are you generous, wise, loving, kind, honest, and caring? Do you represent God well in your interactions with others? Proverbs reminds us that this good reputation is more valuable than silver and gold. Let's do a favor for all those parents who are trying to choose a name for their baby. Don't ruin your name for them. When they come across your name in a baby book, let's have them say, that's a good name. I knew someone with that name and they had a great reputation. They followed and honored God with their whole life. If today's word for the day has encouraged you, please comment, like, or share this video and have a blessed day.